Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily. Today is the last time we head over to Banana Fingers for best of the bunch, and they have saved the best till last. Today we're looking at the best carabiner to use for belay devices. Trust me, it's better than it sounds. Hi guys, today we're looking at carabiners for use with belay devices. Not every carabiner is suitable for use with a belay device, but even after basic requirements like size and locking mechanism have been met, there are still numerous carabiners to choose from. In the following section, we intend to round up the best of the bunch, covering most major requirements and also selecting our personal favourite. First up is the basic workhorse carabiner that is simple but effective, the Clog Super HMS. The Super HMS has long been a stalwart of climbing walls thanks to its relatively low price and ability to withstand intense use. A standard screw gate HMS, the Super HMS is the very definition of no frills. It's perfectly capable of doing the job and does so without any additional bells and whistles. If all you're looking for is a solid screw gate at a reasonable price, then this is the carabiner for you. There are situations that do require something a little more complex, however. For those concerned about cross-loading or the potential to leave the gate of the carabiner open, no design allays these concerns better than the black diamond Magnetron Gridlock. The Magnetron Gridlock is shaped to trap the belay loop of your harness and so prevent cross-loading. A simple solution to an age-old problem. The gate design, however, is anything but simple. It utilises a pair of magnetic arms which pull a steel insert into place as the gate shuts, locking the carabiner. In order to release the gate, both arms must be depressed simultaneously and the gate pushed open. While this design does nullify any negligible risk of a screw gate being knocked open, or perhaps the larger risk of a gate being left unlocked by accident, it also avoids problems that can be avoided with suitable best practice, while also increasing the price of the carabiner, which stands at a potentially prohibitive £24.30. Our choice for best of the bunch is therefore a design that, like the Magnetron Gridlock, resolves the issue of cross-loading, but relies on the tried and tested screw gate as a method of locking the carabiner, thus allowing it to maintain a more modest price. The Edelrid Strike HMS utilises an internal wire gate to hold the belay loop of the user's harness in place and so prevent cross-loading of the carabiner. Its compact design offers some savings on weight while still allowing it to function effectively with any model of belay device. A perfect balance of reliable traditional design and Edelrid innovation make this our clear pick for best of the bunch. So there you have it folks, the Edelrid HMS Strike this week's Best of the Bunch. If you want to find out more information about this or any other carabiner, head on over to bananafingers.co.uk. That's it for us here at Best of the Bunch, but check back soon for more gear geekiness. In the meantime, enjoy your climbing. Thanks, Kalian. Remember, if you want to watch past episodes of Best of the Bunch, just go onto the Epic TV website and search Best of the Bunch. Finally, to celebrate the IFSC Lead Championship stopping in Perz this weekend, we are offering 10% off all harnesses in the Epic TV shop. It's a great deal, so get online. See you tomorrow.